Hi everyone and welcome back to another Vlog Files. It's been a crazy week again. The room's slightly shuffled around. The boxes are painted. I've been getting heaps of boxes from fans. It's insane. Now before I get started, I had a few questions on the last What's in the Box asking about the Devil May Cry glasses, the 30th anniversary. Here are two glasses now, so one's Devil May Cry and one is Ghosts and Goblins. So that's the Devil May Cry ones. And here is the Ghosts and Goblins one. Not that I'm gonna wear them around. So they're non-prescription, they just got glass just for the look of it. And as you can see in there, it's Makimura or Ghosts and Goblins. So they're quite cool, and they're 30th anniversary. There is more around, I think, like different games, but I happened to just get those two some time back when it was the 30th anniversary. Speaking of 30th anniversary, Luke is playing at the moment the uh, Capcom arcade cabinet, 30th anniversary on the PS3. And he's been playing, he's on school holidays at the moment, he's been playing Ghosts and Goblins like non-stop. So what he's doing is um, racking up free lives or getting his score higher so he gets more um, men. So he's, you better go now, Luke. So the time's about, oi, quick, quick. Ooh. So, and the time resets there, so. Oh, I can't even watch him play. He's very, very good. So he just doesn't like being um, filmed usually or um, people to watch him too much. So now he's gone back to do that again, to get extra lives and um, all that kind of stuff. And you sometimes get, you know, the zombies will drop, you know, extra points and all that. Anyway, I can't, I can't talk and watch this guy. So, that, that so as you can see, the boxes are painted red. They look 10 times better. I don't know how they look on camera, um, but it is a lot better than the yellow. The yellow is a little bit too bright on the eyes. Now that that's red, you can identify that that's Nintendo and it's a bit softer on the eyes. Uh, and once boxes are all up there, like all the console boxes and accessories and all that, it'll just blend in, those red, those red boxes will pop out. So now the windows are gone off this side of the wall due to the arcade room, I've managed to squeeze another shelf and I'll have a shelving system for boxes and storage. So, you know, computer boxes like 64 Amiga, Amstrad, all that kind of thing will be going here. Is it enough? It should be. Uh, once I have all the shelving up on the wall, it should be plenty of space. Now coming through here, Nintendo's been quite modified. Um, I'm going to have N64 on that wall there. That'll be its own wall. It used to be GameCube. Now it's just going to be N64. And all this stuff will be moved down. So this is all Super Nintendo, Super Famicom, uh, NES, and normal Famicom. So they'll be all moved down because I've worked out I'm going to need another whole shelf um, for Famicom games. Because if I'm going for the full collection on Famicom, I've worked out if the boxes are roughly this size, which most of them are, I'm going to need three of these big shelves to fit the collection. I hope I'm making myself clear. And the Amiibos used to be on these type of shelves here. Well, I've got them on these bookshelves. There's gonna be three of these. So there's one, two, and there'll be another one coming. All the Amiibos will be there. And then here I'm going to have um, kind of collectibles on glass shelves. Two glass shelves there. Collectibles such as uh, anything. Could be anything. Anything Nintendo collectibles. Or I might have my game and watch. I haven't worked out that. We shall be finished this all by weekend. All the painting's finally done. So that's it. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is I'm getting heaps and heaps and heaps of messages on Facebook, like private or even on the Facebook page. Just people want to connect with me, and I've said this before, like just connecting with each other. I've um, been talking to a guy who's sending me some PlayStation 4 magazines because he saw I got the Xbox 360 ones last week. He goes, I've got a heap of PS2 magazines, PS2 Australia, and he's sending me a bunch of them, like 20 or something, which is very nice. And um, there's actually quite a lot of people sending me stuff around the world now. And that, that's a little bit overwhelming for me, and I kind of don't know how to deal with that. Um, but now uh, that it's happened so many times, I'm, I'm coming to terms with it, so to speak. Uh, and Mandy and I are now working out, um, w you know, it's just accepting a gift from someone that one, I don't know, and you know, it's, it's unusual for me. And now we're doing something that if people do send, and, and this is not to promote to send me in, by the way, 
I, I, don't, I don't expect anything like that. I, I'm a bit overwhelmed. Uh, but two things, one, I'm doing a segment, uh, a separate segment on things that get sent in to me, because I've already got three boxes um, from overseas of uh, people have sent me in interesting things, uh, consoles and whatnot, and I'm going to put aside a segment specifically for supporters or fans, whatever you would like to call it. Um, and yeah, I want to I want to have its own segment. So it's like what's in the box, but for fans. And I haven't come up with a name. You may want to help. Um, I was talking to Adam the other night, and he said, "What's in the box?" Fan edition. I don't mind that. Um, you know, something like that. So I do like maybe connected to what's in the box, and in a sub name. You know, you help. You, you you're you're the you're the supporters. You know, oh, I'd love to hear your input. What it, what it could be called. And in that way, it's a separate segment, and I could probably open up, you know, five or six boxes all in one um, segment, and um, and then talk about all the different interesting things that I might get sent. Yeah, it's it's, uh, and as I said, it's this is not to promote to send me in. I'm not I'm not like that. But if you definitely if you if you feel compelled to send me something, please hook up with me over Instagram or you know Facebook or um, Twitter. So I'm not too good on Twitter, I'm still finding my feet with that. But yeah, Facebook, yeah, message and we can have a chat about it, whatever. Uh, the other thing is we're also thinking, because I just feel a bit, you know, I just feel funny about accepting things, we're in the process of getting Last Gamer t-shirts made up. We're going through a few licensing things now with a couple of companies. So we can have the right characters on the t-shirt. Um, and yeah, we, we're going to, um, probably have them ready in about two months and we're going to send t-shirts back at least it's something it just would make me feel better as well so um and yeah as i said about two months we're going to get these t-shirts made and they won't be cheap they'll be very good quality um you know the right thickness you know good transfer um and most likely they'll be um screen printed so they're not just going to be some Kind of you know cheapy ones yeah oh racing games so three major racing games you know kind of coming out um in recent times so you've got forza 7 grand turismo sport and project cars 2. so um you know they're all a bunch of games coming around the same time and i was interested to know what do you think is going to be the hottest driving game uh, there's also need for speed in november so need for speed is going to be good need for speed payback uh, so what do you think is going to be the best driving game this year? Uh, I have swung from Gran Turismo to Forza in recent times. Um, I like Horizon the best because it's open world and it's very different. Um, but still, I do love the other Forza as well. And Gran Turismo, like I cannot tell you how many times I've played 1, 2 and 3. Especially 3, like I've lived on it. I think I've clocked up seven, 800 hours on that game just doing different things. Um, five was a disappointment at launch, but once you find your feet, um, it's actually quite a good game, five, uh, and had a ton of updates. And I've got a platinum on that, which I'm very, very proud of. Uh, six is good. I haven't finished six, which I'm a bit embarrassed of, because I do love the Gran Turismo. I probably favor Gran Turismo series slightly more than Forza overall, but Forza has won me over in recent times. I'm just hoping Gran Turismo Sport um, triggers the old Gran Turismo. The only thing is Gran Turismo Sport's more online focused and there's not really proper races. You've got missions and all that. It's not the same there, but there is talk of them doing a big update where they'll have proper races. So it's because it's not technically Gran Turismo 7. It's it's kind of, it's like a prologue or prologue, whatever you even call it, but prologue. Uh, it's, it's like a prologue and um, yeah, not really a full game in my opinion, but it's exciting time. And Project Cars 2, you know, I have yet to pick that up, but I want to get that one. Uh, I did love Project Cars 1, even though I've nowhere near finished it, but it's another one, yeah. It's another thing. What about when you buy like modern games and you'll, you'll play it for a bit, but because another one comes out, you kind of put that on the shelf and you forget about it, and you think, God, I've got all these games still stacked up that I haven't finished. I've got to like try and manage time to get through these games. And that's what happens with modern games. There's just so many modern games. Okay, so Luke's been, uh, we've come back with Luke just to see how he's going. 
And you can see he's racked up, what is that, seven lives at the bottom. So that's all he was doing. He just keeps racking up those lives. So now he can get onto the later levels. So yeah, he's, he is quite good at this game. I, I guess when you're young, you've just got more resilience to play games. You've just got more patience. And he's got all the time in the world, really, being on school holidays. Jump. And, um, yeah, so... <laughs> Just watching him like I'm a backseat watcher, I guess, backseat driver. So, um, but yeah, he's he's been playing it for a long time. So it's not like he's, you know, it's not like he's been new at the game. And it's such a hard game, especially for us adults. I've noticed as I've gotten older, I'm not as good as I used to be. I think it's reaction time. So playing classic games at this age, the age of seven, he's seven and a half now, is really, really good. So I, I want to get him more into this. So he just got hit there. So... Oh, but um, anyway, I, I, we better not, yeah, we'll just watch him for a sec, see if he gets past this dragon. Oh, I'm not, watch out for, nice, Luke. Oh, I could watch Luke play all day, so we'll stop it there. Uh, at the moment, Mandy's just going to paint that box green, obviously for Xbox, and that PlayStation box is going to be a uh, grey, light grey, like the PlayStation 1, so it's kind of an anniversary colour. Painting it a dark blue, it'll kind of clash with the Sega one, so that's why I've opted for that. Uh, there will be another box on that side, and that'll be orange, kind of a neutral retro colour, if you like. Um, that's about it. You can probably see in the background there's a Call of Duty sections looking quite good. I'm not going to show that at the moment. A supporter has sent in something special for me, a Call of Duty item, and I will do that. Um, I'll put that item there and we'll talk about that um, when, I'm, when I've got that. And that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this. And remember, I want your uh, feedback on uh, that episode name and anything else you may want to um, let me know. Uh, that's about it. And you probably noticed also, I forgot to mention that Luke's pinched that uh, Ghost and Goblins uh, t-shirt, Maki Mura uh, t-shirt off me. That was a medium anyway. It did not fit me at all. I couldn't even get into it. I'd look ridiculous. So I was going to give it to Mandy, but Luke's claim claimed it. And it's kind of like almost down to his knees, but that's all right. Uh, it gives him encouragement to play the good classics. Until next time, bye for now.